Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to discuss one of the complex and toughest problem on my YouTube channel. If you are a beginner or just starting out, I would suggest you to skip it because this problem can really confuse you and frustrate you. Also, at least you should have 2-3 years of experience or you have been following my YouTube channel and solving some problems. If that's the case, then you can continue and follow along the solution of this problem. Okay. So first we will spend some time to understand the problem because problem statement is not clear. So we have to understand using the input and output tables. Okay. So here's the question. Julia conducted a 15 days of learning SQL contest and there is some date. It is starting on 1st March ending on 15. These dates doesn't matter much. Okay. So it is, it is, it doesn't matter what date it is starting, what date it is ending. The question is write a query to print total number of unique ha hackers who made at least one submission each day. Okay. So this statement is not clear. I will explain you what they are trying to ask. Second thing is find the hacker ID and name of the hacker who made maximum number of submissions each day. If more than one such hacker has a maximum number of submissions, then the lowest hacker ID. Okay. So what I will do, I will move on to the SQL server where I have created the input and expected output and explain you the problem. Okay. So let's move here. So this is your input table where you have submission date, submission ID, hacker ID and score. Okay. A score is of no use for us. Mainly these three columns will be handy. Okay. And this is the expected output, submission date, unique count, hacker ID. Okay. So let's start. So here for each day we have submissions. So for on 1st of March, these four hackers have submitted the solutions. On 2nd, these guys have submitted. If you see here, one hacker has submitted two solutions, which is fine. Okay. Similarly for 3rd, 4th, we have data till 6th. This same solution will work if even if it is 15 days. But the sample data is given for 6 days. So I am using this data only and so that we can validate the output with the expected output on the website. So we have this input sample data and the sample output. So we can verify using this. Okay, but it will work for 15 days. So let's start how this output is coming. So on the first, if you see on the first of March, there are four hackers, yeah, right? Who have submitted on the first day. Now, when we come to second day, it will be confusing. So first day, it is fine. Four, right? Four hackers are there, which have submitted. Unique count is four. All, are, all four are different. Right. And second thing is they are asking the hacker who had made maximum number of submissions. So if you see all the hackers have made one submission, right? So in case of a tie, if more than one says such hacker has a maximum number of submissions, print the lowest hacker ID. So in this, the lowest hacker ID is 20703. So 20703 is done. So first day of the challenge is fine. On first March, there are four unique hackers. And this has some maximum number of submissions, right? There is a tie. So we are taking the lowest hacker ID here. Okay. So this is fine till here. It is fine. Now let's go to the 2nd of March. Now 2nd of March, if you see unique count is two. Now, if you see here, we have 20703, we have 15756, right? And then this guy has submission submitted two solutions. So ideally unique count should be three, but if you read it again, write a query to print total number of unique hackers who made at least one submission each day. So we have to consider only those hackers who have been submitting continuously from day one. If they have skipped, then they will not be considered the next day. So in this case, if you see 2073 has submitted before, right? And 79722 have submitted before, right? So this guy has submitted, these two guys have submitted at least once each day. So when I'm on second, they should have submitted on the all previous day. On the second, all previous days, only first. So on first and second, both of these have submitted. So unique count is two. And this hacker has maximum number of submissions. There are two submissions, right? On second, if you see 7922 and 7922 on second, he has done two submissions. So he is in the output. Let's look, look, look the third day. Now this is the third day, right? Now here, if you see, Again, these two guys, 20703 and 7972, they have done at least one submission every day, right? They should not skip. So there are two unique hackers again, 
right? There are two unique hackers and 2073703 has done maximum number of submissions. So if we look at three, all three have done one one submission, right? And the lowest hacker ID will be 20703 and so on. So we have to make sure that the number of submissions are equal to number of days passing. Only those hackers will be counted when we count the unique count. But here hacker ID will be based on the hacker which has submitted maximum number of solution that day, irrespective if he has submitted previous day or not. Okay. So this column is very tricky. Okay. So I hope the question is clear. You can read the question statement again, right? I will put the link also hacker rank question link in the description box, but make sure the question is clear. Okay. Let's move on to the solution. Okay. So here's the table submissions table, our input table. Now, what I will do first is if you see there are duplicates at the level of submissions and hacker ID, right? So for example, this guy has submitted twice. So what I will do, I will bring the data at submission date and hacker ID level, right? So that all the calculations will be easy for me. So I'll just say simply, I'll say select submission date, comma hacker ID, comma count star, because I should know every day how many submissions were done by a hacker. So count star as number of submissions. Okay, and group by submission date hacker ID. Okay, so this is done. So if I run this, I have the data that which hacker has done how many submissions each day. Submission ID again, we will not use. So this is good enough. Now, second thing is let me do a order by as well so that it is clearly visible. Okay, so let's run it again. And if you see, if you see, there are only three rows now. There were four rows because this guy has done two submissions. So I just aggregated and there are two now. Similarly here, this guy had done two submissions. So I have aggregated it. Okay. Now to get the unique hackers which are submitting every day, what I should do is I will check that which is the day number. So if it is the second day, then this particular guy or this particular guy should have that many number of submissions till that date, right? Which means if I'm on the fourth day, okay? So this is the fourth day, right? On fourth day, I will check what all the people have submitted and is it their fourth submission till date, right? So I will have to look at the past data and look for all those hackers who have done four submissions on 4th of March. Okay, so for that first, for that first, I should have a column which tells me that this is which day, right? This is the first day, second day. So for that, I will use dance rank. So I'll just show you how dance rank. I'll tell you why not rank and why dance rank. Okay, over, and I will say order by submission date. Submission date as day number. Okay. And let me again run it and show you. Okay. So it is telling this is day number one, right? Now what happens to the same value rank will give same rank. So they are getting one, 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 but the next value is two, right? If I use rank, it will give me five because it will skip all the ranks, right? So we cannot use rank because it will give five. It means it is a fifth day. No, it is a second day. So I will use dance rank. Okay, this is a very common question when to use rank, when to use dance rank. So this is one of the use case, right? So if you see, this is the first day, the second of March is second day and so on. So sixth of March is the sixth day. And if it is 15 days of data, it will again work as it is. Okay, so this is the first thing. Let's create a CT out of it so that we don't complex uh, a single query. So with CT as this, and we cannot do a good order by in city. So I'll just keep it out order by. Okay. Now, next thing we have to count is how many submissions till date a hacker has done. So on the first day, this guy has done one submission. Okay. I mean, number of submission is one, but on first he has done submission on second. Also, he has done submission, right? So I will now use another window function. So select star from ct 
and here i will say count star i will get the running count or running sum anything you can say count star over just 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 focus here order by right i am saying do a order by on submission date right for each hacker so i have to do partition by hacker id and order by submission date as till date submission so i will just show you the output so if i just take it here and run it okay so if you see till date submissions for these four people is 11 on first on second if you see this hacker is submitting for the first time right so this will not be eligible on the second day when i drive the unique hacker count right because the hacker should have been submitted all the past days so this is his first submission right and for these two guys it is their second submission right so if the till date submissions is equal to the day number then those people will be considered when i'm calculating the unique count right if it is the second day and till date submission is 2 then it will be considered similarly on the third day right if the till date submission is 3 right and day is also 3 then these two people will be considered when i am considering the unique count okay i hope this is clear so what i will do i will create one more flag here okay so i will say case when case when day number is equal to this then one else zero and as a uh, unique flag basically we will consider these guys as when we are doing the unique count okay so let's run it again and see so this flag is created one or zero based on based on the data okay so this is the second thing now let's create another ct right again we don't want to make it a very complex query so break it down into multiple cts right again order why we cannot take so this is this is it okay now next thing what we have to do we have to do two things now one is for e submission date we have to just sum this up this unique flag if i sum this up i will get the count so let's do it so i'll say select star comma sum of unique flag right over partition by partition by submission date right partition by submission date so for e submission date i will get how many unique users are there which is continuously submitting every day as unique count right so this is my unique count uh, let me fix the spelling and if i am going to run it again uh there is some problem here it says invalid column okay from is not there from ct2 okay this is everything is fine now so let me little bit take it down and run the query okay i can run it anyway okay so we got four unique count on first day there are there are four four users right on second there are only two because this guy is submitting for the first time so we didn't count this but these two guys have submitted before so the count is two we will validate the answers don't worry now the second thing is if you if you remember the question we have to find hacker id and name of the hacker who has made maximum number of submissions each day so now we have to find maximum number of submissions each day for that i can use another row number functions and i will say over now we have to find for each day so partition by submission date order by we have this column already number of submissions each day how many number of submissions a person has done right so i'll just copy this from here uh, number of submissions now if there is a tie right it will be descending because we want maximum if there is a tie then it will be based on hacker id right so if you see if there is a tie if more than one such hacker has a maximum number of submission print the lowest hacker id so i will say in the ascending order as rn okay 
let's create another ct call it as ct3 as there will be a comma and this will be my ct again don't want to complex a single query so just breaking it down okay and now i'll say select star from ct3 where r n equal to 1 right where r n equal to 1 order by submission date okay let me run this so these are the six rows let me take only the columns which are required so i need submission date right i need unique count right unique count and i need the hacker id okay let's run this and validate with the output in the website so let's go back uh where is this one okay so if you go here you see there are six rows similarly we have the six rows right one two three four five six unique count is four triple two one one here also unique count is my bad uh unique count is four triple two one one right now if you look at the hacker id two zero seven zero three seven nine seven two two then two zero seven zero three two times then three six three nine six two zero seven zero three again if you want name you can just join with the there is another table here you can join with this and get the name i'm not doing it but it is a simple thing you can do it but i hope this makes sense this is a little complex problem because we are using multiple cts one multiple window functions right there are other solutions possible using cell join or recursive ct you can try it out and if you think your solution is better than mine in terms of simplicity let me know in the comment section i will check it out i will put in the description box everything that you need to start solving this problem have a good day thanks for watching till here bye bye